Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So back to our lecture. So in today's lecture, we are going to proceed to the next topic of our syllabus, which is topic two on equations, inequalities, and absolute value. In this chapter, there are three subtopics that we are going to look through. The first subtopic is subtopic 2.1 equations. The second one 2.2 inequalities and the third one is subtopic 2.3 absolute values in this part specifically we are going to look through the first subtopic which is 2.1 on equations so the learning objective for today's lesson is by the end of this lesson you should be able to solve equations involving indices thirds and logarithms Solving equations involving indices. Okay, so moving on to our learning objective for today. So we are going to solve an equation involving indices. That is the first part of our lesson for today. So we are going to look through a few uh, types of equations. Uh, and we are going to try to solve them. So the first one is the equation involving indices. Okay, so solving equations involving indices. The first example that we are going to look at is the basic example of indices, of solving indices. So let's say we have question A. Okay, example one, question A. So if we have five to the power of x equals to 125, how we are going to solve them is by first we have to try to change this the right hand side into index form so in index form we need to change this in the form of 5 to the power of something because we need this both side of equation to be in the same base so we are trying to change this change to base 5 so you have to try and error you have to check so we know that this side maintains the same 5 to the power of x hence we know that this is 5 to the power of 3 and hence by the rule of index if we have an equation in form of a to the power of x equals to a to the power of y okay so if we have it in this form we know that we can directly compare the index of this one so if it's in this form it's gonna be x is equals to y okay so this is the rule of index that we need to understand so now we know that this side we have the same base 5 and also right hand side we have base 5 so hence x is equals to 3 okay so that is the first example next example we take a more complex, uh, still the basic equation, but it's a bit more complex. So if we have 3 to the power of 2x is equals to 1 over 3. So now we are dealing with fraction over here. So we, if we have a fraction, first we also want to change this in form of index. Okay, change to base 5. So we also need to change this in form of index change to index form why again because we need to use the rule of index for us to solve the value for x okay so here we will copy down the left hand side same same number and 1 over 3 if we change into index form that is actually 3 to the power of negative 1 okay and if we have it like that next step is simply we follow the same rule as the previous example so we are going to have 2x is equal to negative 1 and hence if we have 2x equals to negative 1 we know that x is equal to negative 1 over 2 and we have solved the equation okay so next question if we have question number c if we have x to the power of 2 over 3 equals to 4 okay so we know that when we have x to the power of 2 over 3 equals to 4 now we have this in index form 
Okay, so if we have it in index form, what we are going to do is we want to change this. If possible, we don't want the index, uh, the power to be in fraction. We want to be, we want to change that in the form of a whole number. Okay, so what we will do is we will take both sides. Okay, both sides of this equation, we raise to the power of three. Hence, we are going to have uh, the next step. This one will be x square and four cube. Four to the power of three is sixty-four. Okay, so if we have it sixty-four, and then we know to find x, we just need to square root of sixty-four. Don't forget your plus and minus sign. Okay, because it has two values there. And hence, our value for x is actually plus minus 8. Okay, so next example. Question D. So, we have it in a fraction form, fractional index. So, we have 16 over 81 to the power of x equals to 8 to the power of 27. So, what we need to do is we will try to change this into the same base both sides of equation must have the same base because this one we have 16 and 81 8 and 27 so we try to find one base that is the same for both sides so actually we can change this in base 2 and 3 so the top part we can change into uh, base 2 so this will be 2 to the power of 4 16 is 2 to the power of 4 over 81 is actually 3 to the power of 4 and still copy down the in the power of x and this side 8 is actually 2 to the power of 3 and this one is also 3 to the power of 3 27 okay so now we can compare if we take we, we know that both of these carry the same power so we can take out this as a common power so we have 2 over 3 to the power of 4x instead and for this side we are going to have 2 over 3 to the power of 3 and hence we know that this uh, left hand side and right hand side already have the same base so we can directly compare the power so 4x is equals to 3 and hence x is equals to 3 over 4 so that is the value for our x okay it's 3 over 4 next example we have e question e so that is 2 to the power of x and times by 4 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 8 to the power of 2x minus 1 so we have this example we have this question so what we need to do is again we are trying to make sure that our left hand side of the equation and our right hand side of the equation have the same base so what we can do here is 2 power of x 4 is actually 2 to the power of 2 right and then we still copy down the same power so 8 to the power of 2x minus 1 okay so for this side we can combine this so we have 2 to the power of x to the power of 2x minus 2 so 8 is actually 2 to the power of 3 2x minus 1 so this one we can combine so remember if we have indices when we multiply two different indices what we did with the same base what we will do is actually we will just we can combine the power together so how we are going to combine the power together that will be a plus okay so we will have 2x plus 2x minus 2 and for this side we are going to have 3 times 2 is 6x minus 3 so for this one we apply the rule of a times x 
a power x times a power y that is going to be a power of x plus y okay so this is the rule that we use for that part okay so next we will solve this one we are going to have 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 equals to 2 to the power of 6x minus 3 and we already have the same base on both sides so we have this same base 2 on the left hand side and right hand side we can directly compare our power so this is equals to this one and finally just calculate it as always just use the computation 1 is equals to 3x and hence we have x is equals to 1 over 3 okay so that is the fifth example and the last example it's a simpler one so i'll just squeeze it in here so we have 27 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3x equals to 6 so again we are trying to make sure that we have same base like previous example same base on the left hand side and then on the right hand side so here we change it into base 3 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3x okay so th this 3 came from 27 right so 27 is actually 3 to the power of 3 this is equals to 6 and when we have the same power we know that we can combine the base okay just like this one so if we have the same power of same power we can combine the base and we can multiply the base that is actually 3 times 2 to the power of 3x equals to 6 hence this is actually 6 to the power of 3x equals to 6 now we already have both sides of the same base okay 6 and 6 here so both sides we have 6 hence we can take 3x equals to 1 and finally x is equals to 1 over 3 so that is our answer okay so these are the, the examples for solving equation involving indices and this is the very basic equation basic questions of indices so i guess now you can try to do this on your own after this okay now before we end our lecture for today so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today